In the warm comfort of their sleeping area, the puppies gathered around Jadzia. Jadzia, their mother, a charming miniature pincher with eyes as bright as stars, was known to have the most enthralling storytelling style. Tonight, she was about to introduce them to Genesis chapter 24, a story filled with hope, faith, and divine providence. Tonight, my little ones, Jadzia started, her voice a melodious murmur, we will delve into the story of a quest for a bride, a beautiful testament to faith and God's guidance. Once upon a time, Abraham, the great patriarch, was now a very old man. He had been blessed in many ways by the Lord. But he had one significant task left to fulfill. He wanted to ensure that his son Isaac, the child of the promise, had a suitable wife. Jadzia's voice lifted as she narrated, Abraham called upon his eldest and most trusted servant, tasked him with an incredibly important mission. He asked him to go to his homeland, his kindred, and find a wife for Isaac. The servant was worried. What if the woman is not willing to follow me back here? Should I then take Isaac back to the land you left? He asked Abraham. But Abraham was firm. Do not take my son back there. The Lord, God of heaven, who led me from my father's home and my native land, solemnly promised to give this land to my descendants. He will send his angel before you, and you will find a wife there for my son. Her puppies listened, their eyes wide in anticipation. Jadzia's tail was a river flowing with grace and wisdom. She continued, the servant set off on his journey, loaded with treasures as gifts for the future bride. Upon reaching the town of Nahar, he prayed to the Lord for guidance, asking for a sign to identify the right woman. And then, there she was, Rebecca. The servant asked her for a drink from her jar, and Rebecca not only gave him a drink, but also drew water for his camels. Recognizing this as the sign he had prayed for, the servant thanked God. Intrigued by the man's reaction, Rebecca ran home and told her family about the incident. Laban, her brother, invited the man home. After listening to his story and the mission he was on, they agreed to Rebecca's marriage with Isaac. The servant thanked God for his successful mission and gave Rebecca precious gifts. The next day, he requested to leave immediately. Rebecca's family wanted her to stay a little longer, but they ultimately let her go. Rebecca, with her nurse and maids, embarked on the journey back. And there, in a field, was Isaac. As soon as Rebecca saw him, she dismounted from her camel. Isaac received her, loved her, and she became his wife, and through her, God's promise to Abraham started to fulfill. As Jadzia's voice lulled to silence, the puppies snuggled closer to her. They had been transported to a time long ago, immersed in a story of faith, divine guidance, and fulfillment of promises. The lessons embedded in this biblical story would slowly unfurl in their hearts as they grew older, guiding them, just like the servant, to their own paths, 